Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to a new video. My name is Prince Mason. Today, we are going to be going over how to retouch, not retouch, but how to color grade an image like this in Capture One before you take it to Photoshop and do any type of skin retouching. So, we're basically going to be working in Capture One today, and then the next video, I'm going to go into Photoshop and show you how to take the image to, you know, um, make the image look like this. So right now we are in Capture One and this image was actually provided to me by uh, Michael. So big shout out to Michael. I'll put a link in the description to his page. So definitely check him out. This was shot with the Fuji JFX. Um, I think it's a 50S Mark II. And it's, um, it's an amazing camera, it's a medium for my camera, extremely detailed and he provided a um, few images for me. I'm not using this image, I think this was the image that I preferred but because the focus was like slightly off. So I'm going to be using this one that the uh, focus is um, tax sharp, absolutely love it. And um, like I said, this is going to be our final image and I'll show you guys exactly how I retouched the skin to get it to look like this in um, the next video but for now. What we're going to do is um, show you the before and after of this. So this is the before image and this is the after here in Capture One before and after. And it's it's always good to get your raw files looking really, really nice um, in Capture One before you take it into Photoshop. So let me show you how to get something that is going to be roughly around this area, or, you know, around this ballpark when it comes to like getting your images to look good. Okay, great. So what we're going to do right now is just reset this image and take it down to like, you know, the bare, the beginning. The <laughs> so the first thing I did with this image and the first thing I do with most of my images um, is just check the um, white balance, basically. So you have your Kelvins and you have your tint. Um, Capture One is very easy to use, you know. Here you have your address, you have your refine. So here's basically sharpening and grain and all that. You have your color to edit. You know, and here you basically can work on, you know, any and everything in in here for the most part, right? So the first thing we're going to do is work on our Kelvin, um, which is in our white balance. And um, I typically go for about 5,500 and that's what I did in, in, in this situation. Um, for my tent, I will typically adjust my tent, but in this situation, I did not. I just left my, my tent the way it was um, because... I was going to color grade the image and there was really no need. Um, I dragged my highlights down just a, just a tad bit, nothing too serious. Um, because like obviously I, I, I knew that I was going to work with my, my levels here. And when you work with your levels, you have to be like very careful. So one thing you should always do in Capture One is turn on your exposure warning. Now your levels right here, what it does for you is that it will add some some much needed contrast to your image but when you turn on your exposure when you can see places that are getting blown out so for example this part of the head is getting blown out so just always put that back in your mind now the next thing i did now let me just explain what your levels is like it's, it's almost like a histogram right where you can either crush your blacks or you can um make your highlights brighter right so right here on your right you have your highlights and right here on your left you have your blacks so if i drag my blacks in you can see that i'm crushing my blacks but because we have more information in the dark areas of our image you can see right here that we have way more information here and barely any information here so what i'm just going to do is just make my the the white parts of my image or the bright parts i'm just going to make it like a little bit brighter and you know by just pulling in my blacks now i'm also going to because we have like a lot of our blacks crushed here what i'm going to do is just you know raise my shadows up just a, a little bit so i can see more of her face right here and with this little we've done this is our before and this is our after you can see from having like a, i would say quite like a cool image I, I love going for warm tones that that's that's just my thing i like when images are like really warm so you can see how it looks one other thing that i like doing is messing around my blacks here now what this does is that it's not like it messes with your shadows or anything but that this is the main thing about like your medium format see how far you can push it but i don't like pushing my files too much um one one thing i just like is just you know crushing my blacks alone just a little bit that's what we, um, i always like to do so at this point we've gotten a decent exposure of our image you guys can see our before and our after and we capture one that's all you really need to do you just need to mess around with like 
uh, a few things right here and you know you have your image looking really really good but this is not the most powerful part of capture one i mean every um almost every um, raw processing software can do this right the so like some of the most powerful aspects of capture one has to do with like the skin tone um edits right so for my skin tone what i'm going to do is just pick on this tool right here now typically i will mask the the skin um and just work on that alone but in this situation i don't care if it affects the whole image because I, I want everything to have like a specific look so you know it's okay for me and i'll pick a skin tone that i like and what this does is that it just picks those colors and says hey you know we're going to work on anything that looks like this color in this in this particular image right and what i'm going to do is just drag up my hue just a little bit and what it'll do is that it'll just blend the whole colors together and i'll also drag up my my saturation you know just make sure that the the uniformity like the hue and saturation everything just everything is just like in harmony let me just put it that way so if i show you my before and my after you can see that a little bit of the outfit the color has changed right but another thing i want to do here with my hue um up here let's just mess around with my hue a little bit so for example i can just drag my hues up to see what that looks like um let me see all the way um, and then put it all the way down so when i drag it forward um i have um, a little bit more greens in my image and when i drag it backwards i have more blues and magentas then forward i have i'll see more greens and cyans in my image which i actually don't mind i actually like that so i'm just going to put it up to like two and what i can do is also maybe just increase the saturation a little bit so the skin tone looks um really nice so you can always also just work on the lightness of your image so you can make it like a lot lighter or a lot darker depending um, on what you want so i just double click that double click that to take it back to zero and i mean for the colors i think we are good so let me see uh, before and uh, after before and after you guys can see the image is already looking really good one other thing i did was just work on the greens and the back so came here to my advance and um, just picked like a green color right here and um, just expanded it a little bit if you guys want me to go in depth in capture one and really explain how these things work just let me know and i'll create like another video where i can really go into the color editor and explain it as as much as um, um as much as possible as much as i know you know um I'm not like a pro at this, but you know, I can just go in and explain as much as I know, right? So one thing I'm going to do right here is basically just it, with your smoothness, you know, what this does is like, oh, you know, how even is the masking going to be? I don't know if that makes any sense. So if you say, oh, you know, make it really smooth, it spreads it out equally across like the different color variations right here. So all the way from close to the blue to like really close to like the yellows here, right? Then what i'm going to do here is just work on my hue as you guys can see if i put it up then the greens get like really really green with like I, I don't know what color that is but if i pull it down you know it just looks better so down here is good if i want to reduce saturation of that i can reduce saturation can increase saturation basically just targets the greens in in there right and if i want to reduce the lightness i can reduce the lightness i can increase the lightness you know but we're just going to keep that at zero but that's that's basically what i did what i did was that i just increased my greens to a particular place where it just matched the overall look now i'm not saying you should do this for every image that you're working on but this is just something that i did for this particular image so now we're going to talk about the three-way color corrector and that's like another part of this um this crazy um color grading thing that capture one um, has going for it and, and i just think it is freaking amazing so for my highlights what i want to do is just add some warmth to my highlights um i know it's it's, it's all the way down here and um is there any way to make this bigger no i don't think so but anyways so for my highlights what i want to do is just add some warmth to my highlights right so if i go crazy you can see how it's affecting the image if i go towards my blues you can see how it's affecting the image same thing if i go here if i go here you can see how it's affecting the image you can go all the way around and say okay you know this is just where i want to be so if i just add some warmth to and this is like at this point i like the way this looks just so i'm following the same trajectory right here right all i have to do is just 
push on this and you can see it's just going in like a, a straight line but i'm not adding too much just a, a little bit and i'll do the same thing with my mid-tones you know just look at where i want my mid-tones to be somewhere around here and once i find like um something that i really like what i can do is that i can either add to that or i can reduce from that and in this situation what i'm going to do is just add a little bit to that that's about it that looks really good right now if you want to color grade your shadows you know if you want to add some blues to your shadows you can see how that looks that looks really nice you can do that if you still want to add some warmth to your shadows you can do that but i just feel like that um just takes away from like the image if you if everything is just like warm and warm and warm but you have to just be careful when it comes to color grading so yeah that's about it this is just me processing this file in capture one and having it look like this and ready to go like i said this is our final image in photoshop so if you guys are looking to know how i took this image um and make it look like this then subscribe to the channel and stay tuned because i'm going to be showing you how to do that um anyways before i go i want to tell you guys about my digital store i have some amazing presets in there and i have some free capture one styles in there that i think you guys should check out and i have some new freebies coming out soon so definitely check that out too i have free frequency separation actions um eyes and teeth whitening actions and also have my skin tone lots and my retouching essentials pack that has 15 amazing actions check it out links in the description below thanks so much for watching today's video like i said if you want to see more in-depth videos on how to color grade in capture one then let me know and i can come up with something nice you know really good for you guys anyways thank you so much and i'll see you guys in the next video have an amazing day guys peace out